of Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. I beheld to the throne that comes down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow. And he was wearing a garment too. He was wearing a white clothing. So can a spirit be wearing that? Come on, man. Read. And the hair of his head. Wait, wait. God has a hair on his head. What type of hair that God has? Let's keep it. Come on. Like the pure wood. God has an apple. All right. God has an oh, wait, wait, don't say I'm all right. Wait, wait. It says yeah, God. Me. Listen, can listen. I, My I brother, wait, wait. I'm asking listen, you. listen. Yeah, Stay I'm with asking. me. Listen, it's not just you that's name. It's everybody else. Listen good. The Bible says God has an apple. Do you know what that means? Listen, listen. Do you know what it means when God says that? The Bible says God is an alpha. Do you know what that means? It means he look like you. It's letting you know that God is a black man. That's why you're missing black man. The Bible is telling you that God looks like you. Yes, that what, what the Bible says. There's, there's, something, there's something, there's uh, something that I, I don't understand. Yes. Something that I want you to make me understand. Right? Okay. What I'm asking. Yes. Why are you saying the wise the animals? What, what do I say? No, Give me that thing. Jesus is three eighteen. Let's read the Bible then. Jesus is three verse eighteen. Yes. We're gonna source it in the Holy Bible. Read it. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse eighteen. What? Verse eighteen. Uh -huh. I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men. The sons of men is the other nations in this context. Come on. That God might manifest them, and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. Yeah, what? That they themselves are beasts. Ilwani. Ilwani. That's what God is telling you. They are beasts. Ilwani. So when I see white face and I say beast. Yes. Because he is the beast. Give me Revelation 12. You know why? Because you know I've been taught this. You know, listen, listen. The problem is that man, you still worship the white man. That's why you cannot accept. The white man is still your call. That's why you cannot accept this. Let's read the Bible again. Uh, uh, right. can I, can I Hold on. Revelation 12. I'm going to show you. God says the white man is the devil. Do you believe that? The Bible says the white man is the devil. Do you believe it? Revelation 12 is 3. Let's prove it in the Bible. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, 3. Listen good, come on. And there appeared another one in heaven. Read. And behold, a great red dragon. He says, this white man is a red dragon. What is a dragon? A dragon is an animal. Man. Come on. Having seven heads and ten horns. He says, this dragon is got seven heads and ten horns. Come on. And seven crowns upon his head. So, this dragon, what color is the dragon? It's red, right? Because now you're telling me white people. You see my father's shirt here, what color is it? What color is it? I'm talking to you with a red cap. What color is his shirt? White. It's white. Have you ever seen a man that looks like this? No, no. Exactly. Because what color is the white man that calls himself? He's a red man. He's red. So the white man, according to the Bible, is red. He's not white. Now, read verse 9. Let's see what God calls this white man. Come on. The book of Revelation, the book of Islam. Listen good. And the great dragon was... and, and the great dragon. Remember, this dragon is red again. Is this white man? Read. Was cast out. That old serpent. That old serpent. Come on. Called the devil. The what? The, the devil. devil. So what does God call the white man? The devil. The devil. He's the deceiver. Because the white man deceived you that Jesus is white. When we read it in the Bible, Jesus is black. So who deceived you? The white man. Read. And Satan. And Satan. So who's Satan in the Bible? The white man. He's Satan. You know what the word Satan means? Satan means opposer. Because the Bible teaches us Jesus is a black man. The white man says no. Jesus is white. The Bible says the angels are black. The white man says no. The angels are white naked babies with wings. Am I wrong? Because when you watch TV, what do the angels look like? It's white baby angels and they are naked. Eh? They've got wings. But if I read in the Bible what the angels look like, you're going to find more. They are black. They look like you. Give me that in Ezekiel 1. Ezekiel 1. Now give me the book. The book in the Bible. Give me the history book. I'm going to show you what the angels look like. Because remember, we rule Russia. We rule England. We rule Scotland. We rule Ireland. We rule Europe for over a thousand years. That's 
the engine. Hold on, wait, wait. No one does one. Hold on, one more. I'm going to show you that the engines are black. Now, do you have it? Read it. Listen good, listen good, listen good, black man. Black man, don't get distracted, man. Come on, read the Bible. To go with Zito, to go the spot. I'm going to show you that the angels are black in the Bible. Come on. Yeah, read it. To go with Zito, to go the spot. Also, out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance that they had the likeness of a man. In the sun. Verse 7. And their feet were straight feet. And now, it's, listen, listen, brothers. Ezekiel is describing what the angels look like. Come on. And the sole of their feet was like the sole of a cow's foot. Like a sheep, a goat, a cow. Come on. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. Meaning what? The way they looked. They look like brass. What is the color of brass? Brass is what? You, you see about five cents? Yeah, what is the color of five cents? It's brown. So then Ezekiel is telling us that the angels, they are black like a five cent. So when you watch TV, you see white naked babies with wings, they say those are angels. That's a lie. Because the Bible is telling you that the angels, they are black. The Bible is also telling you that God is black. You know that God is black? Time is seven minutes now, man. Hold on, yes. Wait, I'm still answering his question. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, brother. I want him to know this. Hold on, I want to go to the I want to show him this thing. This is your, hold on, wait, wait, what? So did you say God is a spirit then? Yeah. But does he have a body? I'm asking, does he have a body? Yeah, God, does he have a body? No, does he have a body? I don't know. Let's see. No, no, you, you say you don't know. So let's give you the answer so you know. Hold on. According to the Bible, but you say you don't know. According to the Bible, you are Yes. God is a spirit, eh? But uh, did, 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 hold on. Yes, yes. But did you also read it in the Bible where it tells you? Wait. Did it also tell you in the Bible somewhere else that God also has a body? Did you read it? Exactly. Because you know why? I used to be in the Christian church, and the pastor used to lie to me as well. That, like your pastor lied to you. Hold on, wait. Let's answer the question. Read it. The book of Daniel, chapter seven, verse nine. I'm gonna show you that God has a body. Read the Bible. I beheld to the thrones of cast down. So Daniel is seeing the kingdoms of the earth being destroyed. Oh, all right. He's seeing America destroyed. He's seeing China destroyed. He's seeing Russia destroyed. He's seeing the EU destroyed. Read. And the ancient of days did sit. Hold on, listen good, brother. He says he see he saw God sitting. So no, in order for no God to sit, what must no, he have? No listen, listen. It's no spirit. Wait, listen. The Bible says God was sitting. So for you to sit, what must you have? A what? A body. So right. what did God have, man? God has a body. Let's keep reading. Come on. And the hair of his head. Now God has a hair on his head. Listen to cool, brother. Come on, come on. He says, God, what? Did the God again? Come on. And the hair of his head. Now God has hair on his head. We are reading it yet. He says, the hair on God. Wait, listen. Listen, listen. listen. I'm going to get your answer. But first, yeah. let me answer you this. We're not going to move around too much. Let's follow the, 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 let's be logical here. Read the Bible again, man. The book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. Listen up, come on. I beheld to the thrones of cast down. Come on. And the ancient of days did sit. So Daniel says he was seeing God sitting on his throne. So for you to sit, you must have a body to sit with. Come on. Who's coming? The book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. Come on. I beheld to the thrones of cast down. And the ancient of days did sit. Whose garment was white as snow. And he was wearing a garment too. He was wearing a white clothing. So can a spirit be wearing that? Come on, man. Read. And the hair of his head. Wait, wait. God has a hair on his head. What type of hair that God has? Let's keep it. Come on. Like the pure wood. God has an apple. All right. God has a... Oh, wait, wait. Don't say I'm all right. Wait, wait. He says, yeah, God, listen, can listen, I, my brother, wait, wait, I'm asking, I'm listen, 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 yeah, stay with me. Listen, it's not just you that's name, it's everybody else. Listen good. The Bible says, God has an apple. Do you know what that means? Listen, listen, do you know what it means when God says that? The Bible says God has an apple. Do you know what that means? It means he looks like you. It's letting you know that God is a black man. That's why you're missing black man. The Bible 
is telling you that God looks like you. Yes, he does. It's fine, you can do it if you want. But let me show you something. God is an apple. God is a black man. He look like you. You see the way that your hair is? God does look like that. That says God. God is spirit. King John 4. Yeah, let's read it. Just because God is a spirit doesn't mean he doesn't have a God. We just read it. Because we are through and then you have a God. You don't have a God. You, you don't have a God. So do you have a spirit? Wait, wait, do you have a spirit? Yes, that's fine. But my question is, do you have a spirit? Exactly. The same way, because remember God says, let us make man in our image. So the same way God, God made you to look like him. So he's got a body, you've got a body. He's got a spirit, you've got a spirit. You see how simple this is? I understand. Yes. Yes. Okay. God, he didn't say, I'm making the moon one in Bupanegi. What I see is. Okay, who, when, when he says ASEANZ, who was it? Who was it? I don't know. No problem. Psalms 148. Let's read it. Psalms 148 verse 1. I'm going to show you that. When he says, let us make men in our image. Because the word God is plural. The word God means powers. That's what the definition of the word God means. It means powers. Now read it. Psalms 148 verse 1. Read Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye him. What's going on with the song? Read that verse again. Psalms chapter 148, verse 2. Read. Praise ye him, all his angels. He says, Praise ye him, all his angels. Again. Read. Praise ye him, all his hosts. All his hosts. So when he says, Let us. Made man in our image, he took about himself, Christ, and the angels. When he says, Let us in the spirit world. So now, after he said that, what did he do? Genesis 2 verse 7. After he said all that, he created man to look like him. Let's see, what did he use? And what color was that man what God what that God created? Let's see what he looked like. Read it. Because Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. Listen good. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Stop. What did God do? He formed man of the dust of the ground. What is the color of the dust of the ground? You stand on it. What color is it? Exactly. So what color was Adam? White. Exactly. So color Adam was a what? what? If people saw Adam today, what would they say? Would they say that's a white man or that's a black man? What would they say? Come on, my brother, you look like the ground you're standing on. See, exactly. So when they saw Adam today, what would they say? Would they say he's a black man or a white man? Exactly. So what color was Adam? Exactly. You see that? It's that simple. So God created men to look like him, right? So what color was God then? Exactly. So what color is God? Black. It's very simple. Right? It's so straightforward, man. God is a black man. It's that simple.